The 7.3 Power Stroke is one of the most reliable engines ever made, but what causes such a reliable engine to fail? Well, that's what we are going to be showing in today's video, showing off three 7.3 Power Stroke engines that have blown up in the last week and what the similarities were that caused them to blow up. So in front of me here is the 7.3 Power Stroke, and there's two of them over here, and there's actually one in there. We have had three engines go down, three 7.3 Power Stroke engines go down because of this right here. This other one in here, we had a couple other things happen on that one that actually made the motor go bad, but these two specifically had auto light glow plugs in them. Some of the worst glow plugs that we've seen at my shop. Uh, this is what happens when you put glow plugs that are not motorcraft in there. They break the tip off, the uh, engine combusts them, and it explodes in the cylinder, just destroying the piston, destroying the cylinder walls, and just totally destroying the entire engine. So that's what happened to this guy. I want, I'm going to pull the head off right now and show you all guys exactly what happened here. So going to take our 15 impact. All right, so y'all can see here what happened to this cylinder right here. It ate the glow plug completely and just destroyed the actual wall. So this one is starting to go a little bit, but this one is the one that really got it. This is the one that actually broke off in the hole. So that's exactly what happened to that motor over there as well. Um, just put Motorcraft OE glow plugs in there. These are the Autolite ones that we are showcasing in front of the shop because we want to show what happens when you put aftermarket ones in there. Y'all to walk with me here over to our other motor that we got here. Show y'all what happened to this one. This is the third seven three power stroke motor that we've had this week that's just been no good it's been completely toast either the glow plug ate it or this is what happened to this one over here so y'all can see right here on the oil pan there's about two inches of silicone and basically the whole motor's just been completely caked up with silicone okay so what happened to this motor right here if, if you can look real closely there's silicone well these uh seven threes actually got a big pickup so very small amounts of uh silicone uh, probably seat past this and got into the motor when i took the oil pan off and i saw the loads amount of uh, silicone and there was actually some silicone sitting in the oil pan i started to look at the crank and the some of the cylinder or cylinder walls and you can see the discoloring so this motor definitely went down from lack of oil pressure lack of oiling to the uh, pistons from all the silicone that this uh company this is actually a well-known company who built this motor and say names but didn't do a great job on it but definitely a lot of uh silicone here in the pickup said 73 has got a pretty big screen compared to normal pickups they got a lot of small amounts of silicone probably seat past this uh pickup so glow plug and silicone and honestly just maintaining the truck is gonna let you got to do it right you got to put OEM motorcraft glow plugs back in the truck don't silicone the hell out of it I mean this this person just silicone the shit out of the entire motor I would just recommend that you make sure to put the right parts in it do your maintenance keep up on your oil changes keep up on your fuel filter changes your coolant everything all the fluids on the motor that's the main reason why these motors go down is a lack of maintenance and improper parts that are installed on the truck but yeah three engines went down this week we wanted to make a full entire YouTube video to showcase you to you guys what happened to these engines so that way you guys can be educated as to what you should put in your truck. We can do a full glow plug install here at my shop, Motorcraft OE glow plugs. You guys can call us for pricing or you can buy a set of eight Motorcraft glow plugs from us. We're dealers for Motorcraft glow plugs. So if y'all guys want to get the OEM Motorcraft glow plugs from us, these are the exact glow plugs that you want. You guys can buy them in the link in the description down below, or you guys can bring the truck into my shop, PSC Automotive and Diesel Repair, and we can get the entire job done for y'all. A couple things that we did to check for a bad engine on this was we actually checked compression. We actually put a compression tester, screwed it into the glow plug hole and cranked on it to check compression. Each hole was at between 350 and 450 on each hole. We checked one of the cylinders on this one and it was actually at 250. So that told us that it had low compression. It also had a shit ton of blow by. Same thing with that motor out there. At my shop, we do a lot of performance parts as well. These are the two motors that went down from the glow plugs. What we checked for first, what we like to check for first is compression. Make sure the motor's healthy before we start slapping big performance parts in it. That's what we did with this customer behind us here, that white 7.3, that white 7.3 over there. That's what we did. We checked every single cylinder for good compression because that was one of his complaints as well was that he thought he had a bad motor. He was 360 to 400 on every single cylinder, so his compression was good on that exact truck. So we were ready to throw in the performance injectors and we're actually doing some 175 over 30 injectors on that truck. Uh, he said he wants a little bit more power. He wants a little bit more fun with this truck and he also wants to keep it reliable. So that's kind of why we went with those injectors. We're also doing a bigger high pressure oil pump for them as well. We made sure that the engine was healthy before we threw some bigger injectors in it. Unfortunately for this customer, the truck was not healthy. He actually had a blown up cylinder. When you are putting bigger injectors in there, because that could also cause a bad motor, bigger injectors, you want to make sure you're doing your research. You don't want to buy a crappy injector company. You don't want to buy from somebody who doesn't know what they're doing when it comes to performance.
performance injectors. We personally have a, a dealer here where it's unlimited diesel performance. You guys can also buy their injectors in the description down below, but they're just hands down one of the best performance injector companies that we have found online. What we've put in putting in our customer's truck uh, over the last month or two, and they just, everything's ran great. So that's what we're putting <coughs> putting in customer's trucks now. If you guys wanna get those, it'll be in the link in the description once again, but make sure you need to do your research. Don't go cheap on performance injectors. Don't go cheap because it could cost you a motor as well. Probably the third or fourth reason that a engine will go down is bad injectors and bad fueling. That's actually why that green one out there went down because a bad injector, it overfueled and washed out the cylinders. Also with the performance injectors, especially on these 7.3 power strokes is maintenance is gonna be a big one to keeping the injectors firing properly. Uh, oil is gonna be a big one and fuel filter, uh, the fuel filter on these trucks. On these six sevens outside, you really wanna do the fuel filters a lot more often than the 7.3, but I would still change the 7.3 between eight and 15,000 miles. Um, and then on the six seven, I change personally, I change mine every 8,000. Every other oil change, I just change my fuel filter as well. I just got in the habit of that and that's probably why my truck has 206,000 miles on it right now, the original CP4 pump in it. And most of the time, it actually isn't the performance injector that makes the truck go down, it is actually the customer that puts dirty debris or doesn't change their fuel filter or does lack of maintenance on their vehicle that makes a truck go down. A lot of fuel systems that come in here on the six, seven power strokes, the customers just have lack of maintenance. They don't change their fuel filters. They fill up at gas stations. They don't really know where the diesel comes from, mainly just dirty diesel and lack of uh, lubrication. So we run an additive here for the six sevens. It's BG, a BG additive. Y'all guys can buy the additive. I'll leave everything in the description down below where y'all guys can get it. But we just wanted to make this video because this was kind of a, I guess you could say a rare sighting with all these seven, three power stroke engines going down, especially since they were one of the best engines ever made. You know, want to look out for something that is definitely the things that I would look out for. And if y'all guys want to once again, get anything done at my shop, y'all guys can call the number on the screen. Thank you guys for watching and peace out.